Today we're doing the, uh, gotta rebuild the entire shifter system because it's all jacked up. Um, so, you gotta pull the little shifts around out. We took that out, you can see, dude never cleaned his car, and uh, you could tell. This uh, is the shifter base plate. This is kind of bad. So, I undid the uh, two 10 mils, and now the whole shifter will drop down. To readjust this, there's these, there's these two little dots right there and they just have to line up with the two dots in the base plate so this is really easy to put back in and align so now i got to get underneath the car and get everything out you got to make sure it's in neutral it already is and then you got to pull all these little, these little clips this is what locks in the shift lever just lock it pull them out there should be another one over here Put it back in neutral again because you'll mess yourself up later. If, it, if the shaft can go in and out like that, it's in neutral. There's technically two two sides to this. Like, see, that one's not really straight up and down, whereas this one is. One's 90 and one's 95. Pretty sure it says that this one should be on the shift selector side, so I don't know which one they refer to as that. So you got to make sure that this goes back in the right spot. And then you have this other little plastic piece down here um, and it has its, it, it, it's this like cross lever shaft thing and it has like two of those like snap on clips so I usually just break them off because you're replacing it anyway. There's one. Right. So there's that one. Looks like it has been replaced but still going to replace it. Pop it off of there. Pop it off here. Again, looks like it's fairly new, but there's no grease in it and stuff, so you're supposed to always grease inside these two. To come out, this is a 10 and a 10, and this kind of compresses it. You never want to tighten it to where it's completely tight, but you don't want that much slop. It's probably hard to see. Yeah. But yeah. I'll get that out now, two tens, and then we'll go underneath the car because that's the terrible, nasty, disgusting part of it. So this is the uh, that intermediate relay shaft. Um, these two bushings go inside, and they're out, and these are like little buffers. You can see everything's pretty wore out. So just some new of these little guys. These things look like junk, but whatever. You can get all this from EVW parts, like I broke one. Alright, so they're on there. Here's the new bushings. And then always test fit your bolt. Make sure it goes in. It does. And now you go to grease. Shove it in. As you feed the bolt into it, it'll uh, force it out. Alright, so putting this back in. Hold the bottom because obviously it will fall out. Maybe putting a little bit of grease in it to help it stay. Yeah, there you go. So that'll help it stay in there. But get down in there. I wish I could get And then this is a special bolt. See how it's like shouldered? So it's like a 13, an 8 mil up here, and then a 6 mil down here. So it's a pretty specific bolt. You can't just throw an 8 mil in there. Get the nut. This is a self locking nut. So again, that's specific too. Cause like, like I said, you don't want it too tight that it binds, but you don't want it too loose that it wobbles all over the place cause then you'll be in the same position. See now there's no real side to side play up and down or whatever. And it moves free still. Maybe I'll go one more little crank. <laughs> See, moves nice and easy no up and down in and out kind of deal so that's that's good put the other side of that collector jack which is this that straight piece it's a brand new one and put some thick grease in it just snap it on and then make sure you snap these clips over when you're done Snap. 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 
All right, so now that's rebuilt. And then we can go on to the other side of it, which is underneath. All right, so since this is all down, you can see, sorry, this is gonna be all nasty, but uh, we gotta get this shift selector off. So I'm gonna undo those two. And then after that, we gotta get that ball, the, the gear lever ball, whatever you wanna call this thing. I forget what it's called. I'm underneath and it's filthy, but I get that off and then we'll have everything down and we'll clean it all outside the car and start swapping the bushings and whatnot. So there's the whole shift selector together. We'll be replacing the bushings in here and the bushing right there. The bushing down there requires you to take that band off down there, which is kind of tricky to get on and off. And then up here, uh, this rod comes in from the top right there. So you just pull it up and out and then I'll clean this and replace these bushings. So there's like three bushings on that one. These are chassis side in that the rod that goes down through. This one is where the shift rod goes into at the top. This two is on the body side. So you put these in the body side first, put the shifter back in, it's already in. It's not hard. So this is the same kind of thing. Uh, you got a 10 on one side, 13 on the other, special bolt. And then take note of how everything goes because you have to put it back the same way, obviously. You can put it back the wrong way and then you'll have a bad time. Bob out the bushings. Bolt. Nice and tight. I wonder if he wore a black shirt today or if he's gonna cry and ruin another white shirt. So again, you don't want it too tight because then the thing won't move. But you don't want it too loose because then it'll it will move. If that makes any sense. So a little more. I want it to where it's snug, but not going back and forth. That is perfect. So this is a spline shaft and you see I'm marking the index. So this coupler, this band, all that'll be the same. So I just scribe up here and up like that. So now I'll have a good starting point for the adjustment. So as long as the idiot I bought the car from didn't mess with this before and ruin it, theoretically, if this is the OEM adjustment, it'll go right back together and be no problem. So all the bushings are in, it's nice and tight, facing the right way, because the reverse lockout's over here, so you gotta go down and around, so that's right. Got the new shifter bushing thingy in there. You can see my scribe mark. It's kind of hard to see, but it matches the other scribe mark, so theoretically, as long as this was set right before, uh, it'll be fine. So now I can put everything back in, just start reassembling it. So you see right here in the book, it says relay shaft, rod lever end, so you need the one there's the 90 that goes to the relay shaft, which right here, that's the relay shaft right there. <laughs> Get it down here. Obviously lube it up. It's in. There it is. On. Don't forget that. All right, so I, I'm just gonna make sure that everything works. You know, everything's nice and tight. Hopefully I don't have to adjust anything. Sweet, that clip broke instantly. <laughs> I gotta put a new, uh, gotta fix this clip. That was for my hair, cause I got nasty ass shit in my hair. Oh yeah, um, yeah. I put my head in like diesel soot or something. So my hair is destroyed. Good thing I didn't take a shower this morning because of this job. So anyway, let's uh, try to watch the shifter. You'll be able to see the deviation of everything. Go in the first. Go in the first. First. Yeah. Go in the second. Go in the third. Go in the first. So you can see a difference. Go in the fifth. Go in the reverse. Go in the first. All right, so we got everything ready. It can be driven now. Tires, I had to get two tires refilled because 
they were brand new but leaking so I had to take it and have like the you know the seals cleaned and put valve stem seals in not a big deal but you know um so the shifter rebuild is good i drove it up in the air so i had first gear fine got to about 15 second gear got about 25 then you go into third 35 40 you know how it goes so um so the shift stuff is done we, the last video hopefully will be the last video is where we put the head on um so the issue with the head was that it's a junk aftermarket head and it has head studs which weren't installed correctly and not torqued correctly so i can't install them correctly because technically you're supposed to machine these heads out because this was a 11 millimeter head and someone just you know bored a hole through with a drill bit uh to get to 12 mil and um they didn't get all the way there and kind of it seems like they just hammered the studs in so that was the issue with that but now that's fixed shifters fixed at this point we'll just drive it how it is see how it is um it does seem like it needs injection pump timing done so i'll probably have to do that because that probably was never set so we'll do that probably in the next video but next what we're going to do is just clean the car out because it's absolutely horrible uh it's just dirty it was it was the dude's daily driver so there's waffle fries and stuff all in it and right now we're getting off all the black paint somebody decided to paint the bumpers black which we hated took the hitch off uh we're gonna try to find some lx side trim because someone took it off and then just painted it black um it looks like somebody had those rails on before and just didn't have them installed right and messed up the bed some so we'll probably be looking for that we took off dump stickers and stuff um and basically we're just trying to clean it up uh the shifter i, I don't know why people just ruin things but you know it was a nice peanut butter shifter but someone painted it black so now we're putting a stripper on it seeing if we can try to bring it back um, hopefully we can it's it's getting there uh, i did find that today this wheel cylinder is leaking so i'll have to address that i'm just making a big list i need to rebuild everything in the front end that kind of stuff i had the mark ii downpipe that i got from um, my buddy austin but it was for a mark ii right here and it just doesn't fit it's a totally wrong angle so at work we have a plasma cutter i'm going to take this gasket to work and I'm going to try to lay it on some steel and just make a flange. Uh, these flanges are not readily available, so I'll just make one work. But, yeah, I'm not going to record detailing it or anything like that. It's not really going to be a detail. It's just going to be a cleanup. But shifter works, all that stuff. We'll uh, take it for a little drive, maybe. That's about it. Like, comment, subscribe. There will be plenty more on the truck uh, as we're trying to bring it more back to life. Hopefully I'll have, I have a bunch of other new cars too. You know, it just keeps going. Um, this one, hopefully there will be a video out. Hopefully there will be a video out on that one. Uh, and then there's the Mark III 1AT. There's the Mark II VR. And, and then the VRT's in there. We'll just uh, keep on going. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.